Breaking, Christian School Under Attack, Gates Blocked, Here's What We Know Right Now. Almost 24 hours to the minute after Sunday's massive attack at a Christian church in Texas, a Christian academy in Florida went under immediate lockdown in response to an attack. It's now becoming clear that a disturbing trend is underway with a very specific target. Something needs to be done about this now before more innocent people, many of whom are children, lose their lives. Fort Lauderdale police swarmed the Calvary Christ Hain Academy in their town shortly after a widespread alert went out to parents regarding an actionable threat they were taking seriously. Calvary Christian School entered into a lockdown due to a potential threat Friday, September 5, WTVM reported. The school's headmaster Dr. Ricky Smith says ammunition was found on the school campus, but no firearms were found. Because we take the safety of our children seriously, we entered into a lockdown and followed our emergency procedures. Local law enforcement arrived promptly on the scene and guided us through our lockdown incident, Smith told news outlets responding to the scene after the lockdown was lifted, however, the threat remains clear and present. We are very proud of our faculty, staff, students, and parents for handling the lockdown proficiently and calmly, Smith added. Although normal class activities and pickup procedures resumed after the immediate threat seemed to have been cleared, there are still no answers as to who made the threat and where the bullets came from. In the direct aftermath of what happened in Sutherland Springs, Texas yesterday, these things need to be taken seriously, as well as the threat of copycat attacks. Almost 24 hours to the minute after Sunday's massive attack at a Christian church in Texas, a Christian academy in Florida went under immediate lockdown in response to an attack. It's now becoming clear that a disturbing trend is underway with a very specific target. Something needs to be done about this now before more innocent people, many of whom are children, lose their lives. Fort Lauderdale police swarmed the Calvary Christ Hain Academy in their town shortly after a widespread alert went out to parents regarding an actionable threat they were taking seriously. Calvary Christian School entered into a lockdown due to a potential threat Friday, September 5, WTVM reported. The school's headmaster Dr. Ricky Smith says ammunition was found on the school campus, but no firearms were found. Because we take the safety of our children seriously, we entered into a lockdown and followed our emergency procedures. Local law enforcement arrived promptly on the scene and guided us through our lockdown incident, Smith told news outlets responding to the scene after the lockdown was lifted, however, the threat remains clear and present. We are very proud of our faculty, staff, students, and parents for handling the lockdown proficiently and calmly, Smith added. Although normal class activities and pickup procedures resumed after the immediate threat seemed to have been cleared, there are still no answers as to who made the threat and where the bullets came from. In the direct aftermath of what happened in Sutherland Springs, Texas yesterday, these things need to be taken seriously, as well as the threat of copycat attacks. NBC Miami reports. The Fort Lauderdale Police Department said the school sent the alert to parents after receiving an alert via phone app, citing the police responded to false, accidental information in regards to possible shots fired from an app on phone. No intruder entered on campus. As of 4 p.m., school children began leaving buildings to meet worried parents, some whom were on the periphery of the school praying, some crying. Parents said the school located at 2401 West Cypress Creek Road, was possibly on lockdown. In the last week, there have been three deadly attacks, and now this threat comes on the heels of that. It's not a coincidence that there's a killing spree across the country as one typical sparks others deranged lunatics to go down in infamy after. Eight people were killed in a Halloween terrorist attack in Manhattan, New York followed by three more fatalities in a Colorado Walmart 48 hours later when a gunman casually walked in and began shooting people. Four days after that shooting spree, an anti-Christian killer massacred 26 churchgoers in Texas. This is not a gun problem, it's a deranged individual problem of psychopaths seeking vengeance against a type of person they disagree with. For some reason, liberals seem to perpetually ignore this fact and blame the weapon not the beliefs or affiliations of the person who pulled the trigger. Americans, 
specifically Christians are under attack and these trying days prophesied about in the Bible that we are seeing come to fruition under the most terrifying terms. In September, white Tennessee churchgoers were ambushed and killed by a gunman in an unprovoked attack that was swiftly swept under the rug by the mainstream media desperate to hide the important details and keep the attention on irrelevant issues like Russian collusion. Now, the blood of 26 faithful believers is now on their hands after disregarding the clear and present threat in this country to keep the focus on their rhetoric. There's no hiding what's happening now and every American needs to be on high alert for what's coming. It took just a couple of hours for Barack Obama to come forward and condemn the weapon after the Sutherland Springs shooting. In the aftermath of the Islamic terrorist attack in Manhattan, the push to not blame the so-called religion of peace was immediate. Now there's little to no talk of what happened there since the culprit was Islam and the left is fiercely protecting it. They didn't talk about blaming rented U-Haul trucks after the terrorist mowed people over, but now they can't stop talking about guns after a white male used one to murder 26 Christians. While this was a false alarm today in Fort Lauderdale, it could have also been a dry run or a failed attempt. Every incident like this needs to be looked at closely and taken seriously because it's dangerous to pass it off as an accident and ignore the issue. Had the potential targets in this case been an Islamic school or the dead victims in Sunday's shooting been at a mosque, the narrative from the mainstream media would be much different than what we're hearing today.